Hi, I'm James Lamont, fellow at the Bedeen Center for Rural Economic Development at the University of Minnesota Crookston. Today, we're going to talk about the 2023 farm sector income forecast and projected declines. In effect, over the last several months, USDA, as well as other independent organizations, have estimated that net farm income is uh, forecast to decrease by roughly 16% or $26 billion following two years of growth uh, in 2021 and 2022. Um, these decreases are largely a result of lower crop and uh, livestock receipts, um, increase in production costs. There's still some uh, inflationary impacts associated with the majority of the inputs associated with farming, and government programs as well as assistance is changing, thereby uh, reducing uh, support in the aggregate from the government. Um, net, net cash farm income is expected to decrease roughly 20% um, to about $150 billion or so in 2023. Uh, when inflation adjusted, the income is projected to decline by roughly 18%. So that's basically the, the real terms associated with what it's going to look like for farming communities across the country. Uh, farm sector, sector equity is forecasted to increase by roughly 5% to $3.5 trillion. Uh, in 2023, when you when you kind of look at the you know the uh, the sector in the aggregate, and then debt is expected to increase by about five uh, to about 535 billion dollars or 6.2 percent. Uh, in some instances, this can naturally be a challenge, uh, just due to the fact that we're um, we're seeing higher interest rates uh, for commercial as well as farming loans. Uh, with respect to specific uh, crops that are expected to decline in 2023, I wanted to offer, uh, as you can see. Uh, from 2019 through 2023, this came from the USDA um, Economic Research Service. Uh, it'll it'll demonstrate primarily some of the major crops we see here in the Upper Midwest, and uh, you'll see like these these massive increases uh, that that we enjoyed in 2021 and 2022 uh, as a result of a variety of factors from the pandemic to inflation to just increased uh, consumption for various crops, uh, and then stabilization of certain trade routes. So you'll see that we're starting to return, maybe not quite to normal, but you can see basically there's been some major increases, hence the reason why you're seeing some major decreases here in 2023, at least in the forecast. Um, in the aggregate, crop cash receipts are projected to decrease by about $9 billion, roughly 3%. 2023, uh, you'll see that corn has um, projection to fall about 4.5%, uh, soybean to the tune of about 8%. Uh, wheat's expected to increase slightly by 4%, roughly $600 million over the year. Uh, you see some, some vegetable and melon uh, cash receipt decreases to the tune of about 8.7%. And then hay, the inputs you would need for a variety of other uh, feed and things like that, um, decrease uh, are expected to grow roughly 6%. Again, inputs are kind of creeping higher, whereas the, uh, the production costs as they increase aren't being passed on as much to consumers as evidenced by the Economic Research Service uh, projections. I look forward to you joining me in our next video uh, and thank you for your time today.